The moment we have all been waiting for. Consistent characters in Midjourney. With the new update that Midjourney just released a few days ago, we can now create consistent characters with basically any character that we create in Midjourney or outside of Midjourney. I want to show you in this video how we can use it actually and what are the limits of it at the moment in time and how you can effectively use it for your own art and styles. All right, so let's start like always in Discord with Midjourney. So we just open a new interface here with just having a new chat. And now I want to show you how you can create consistent characters with the new update. Of course, like always, I mentioned this in almost all my videos is that you first have to go into settings and then just set the version 6 here so that you're sure that you're always on the latest because with all the versions it won't work actually. So make sure that you have here version 6 selected. Once we have done that we can directly start with our first prompt. And since I'm really busy with doing AI commercials for example and diving more into this topic of commercial and marketing, I thought about why not doing like something in this style for this example. And then our first prompt will be a man wearing Adidas sneakers and sports clothes. Uh, it's a full body shot and he's looking into the camera. So next step is then just uh, to type in our other parameters that we want to have there. Of course, we're using style raw. Then as an aspect ratio, I want to have uh, 16 to nine maybe, or why not let's do for this example, nine to 16. Okay, all right. So this is the result we got. Actually, this is looking quite cool already. Let's see it in a browser maybe maybe because here it's shuffling at the moment. And uh, when we have a look at this, I think we have some pretty cool characters that we can go from. I think the most promising is maybe this one here, which is like uh, looking quite cool lighting wise, or maybe this guy over here with wearing the green jacket and the shoes, the sneakers look cool and stuff like this. Um, I think for now I will go with maybe this guy here. I, th I think uh, he has a nice lighting and Mitch can, uh, Mitch and can read from that quite well. So what we have to do then is uh, upscale uh, the character that we want to have. So we go to the fourth one and then just hit upscale. Okay, great. So now we have it upscaled. Um, right now, mid journey is a bit slow, but that won't stop us, of course. So we can still work with it because in the browser we see we have the full version that we want to have here. And then just make sure to always save it through the browser because there you get the maximum resolution. We can just drag, drag and drop our image into the text field here and then send it. So then it's displayed here and then uh, we, uh, we are safe that we can use it from here. So now we want to yeah, have our character in another scene maybe, you know, for the commercial, maybe he should walk through a city. What I thought maybe is cool that, that he is waiting for a red line to turn green. It's in Berlin because I'm also from Germany. So maybe that fits and uh, there are city lights, you know, so maybe we get some cool lights from the streets itself, some city lights, which is nice. So, and now comes the crucial part. What we have to do is that you now type in minus minus and then C ref. And this actually describes character reference. And now uh, really important is that you hit spacebar one more time because otherwise it will give an error to us. And then you just drag and drop into the text field down below the image where we want to have the character reference from. And then we can uh, do one more parameter, which is also important. So let's try to send it like this first to see what we get. Okay, awesome. So now we are back and we actually see and this is a cool example to see how Midjourney evolves in a new update and what it can do at character ref. I mean, when we're looking at our character reference that we have here, I think uh, we can definitely recognize him in different scenarios here because it, maybe it's also because of the prompt. He's just standing most of the times not fronted to the camera, what we had here. So you see it's more actually to the side, but we see his uh, hair and his facial details are quite similar. Of the beard is a bit more advanced here but I think we have a really good base and also his dressing style and stuff like this 
this really looks like this guy and this is a huge improvement to what we had before okay so next thing i wanted to show you which is also related to character consistency is actually that we can now actually choose um, what weighting it should have. So we're not just taking the um, just the minus minus C ref and then our image. We're just uh, also giving Midjourney a weight so that it knows if it should be at as accurate as possible or if it should differ from the original uh, character that we have here. So let's go with a new prompt and let's make the minus minus C ref again. Drag him in and then. Also minus minus style raw of course, and then as the last part, which is then ex uh, which is new and then also important is related to the C ref is that we then choose minus minus C W, which stands for character weight actually, and then we're choosing a value from zero to one hundred. For now, we want to make a test, so we want to match it as close as possible to that. Midjourney is keeping most of its details, so we're choosing one hundred and send it. Okay, so this is really interesting results that we got here. I mean, here it looks a bit like painterly, you know, and here he looks uh, maybe a bit small to what we had before. But we see um, he, we kept the green sweater that we had and his pants and also his shoes. So yeah, just as a comparison, I think most of the uh, things are still more or less the same, but this is with 100. So let's see with zero what we get there. And uh, yeah, this is actually a good example. Now we have um, still more or less the same, but with a lot of different variations. And of course, um, this is not looking like really like him anymore it's more like you know uh, we have a child here for example or also here his face looks completely different but yeah it just develops new ideas that you can maybe use if you want to have new inspiration for it so this is mainly the difference always choose like if you want to have it more close then choose 100 otherwise just keep it by zero or less uh, yeah, just uh, a quick handy tip that I just figured out that I still wanted to share with you guys is that we can use minus, minus and R and this means repetition actually and I'm using this now all the time so you can use for example then two or three depends how many iteration mission you should do of the same prompt so you don't have to type it in multiple times then anymore so you can just send it and then Midjourney will ask you if you are sure you want to have two prompts because of course when you have a subscription then maybe it can get expensive but let's click yes for example and then you see it's processing two jobs at a time which is of course super cool because um, then we don't have to do it all the time over and over again. One more thing that we can use actually uh, with the new technique is that we're using the character ref with the style ref I showed in another video. You can uh, find it up here on my channel. So also go check out this if you want to have more details on this. And this is another feature that uh, Midjourney implemented, implemented a while ago. But what you can actually do now is that we're using um, uh, the character ref and then we're doing the minus minus C ref again, dragging her in. And then actually we can use the minus minus S ref which is really cool because then we can say in which style we want to have actually image her in the character um, from the style itself when she's drinking her coffee then on the porch. So let's take another image. So yeah, I just dragged and drop it in uh, to the message. So we have it here again and now we can type in our prompt. Okay, so sitting on the porch and she is drinking coffee. We have our C ref that we got from here and the minus minus F ref, uh, S ref where we will now drag in our image. And now let's send it and we we'll see what we get. And now this is actually what we get when we combine those. I mean, it's maybe not too successful when we see like this style with maybe a bit different, but it gets this nice like um, <clears throat> art style, I would say, you know, with uh, it looks uh, almost like a drawing but pretty cool also this one, you know, like quite artistic. So yeah, um, just that, you know, you can just uh, mix different styles together uh, using the character ref and the style ref together. All right, so as a very last thing, I want to try what is actually happening when I'm using a selfie of myself or picture and see how it will look in the end. So I will just drag an image of myself um, and upload it to Midjourney. 
And then, of course, you can also try this for you. Uh, let's say, I don't know, I will, um, I'm sitting in a kitchen watching TV, maybe this, or let's say maybe in third person, this is better, uh, watching TV and then um, let's say moody and high contrast. And let's actually see what mid journey will come up with in the end when I now drag in my image. Of course, don't forget the minus minus C ref. And yeah, let's see what it will come up with. Maybe uh, let's say also minus die raw again and let's check it out <laughs> all right great so this is the result i mean uh, uh, you obviously see where the limits are it's not perfect it's the first version but you see uh, there are maybe some similarities here but uh, yeah it still differs a lot but you know it's going in the right direction and let's see what they will get up with the new updates that will come soon but actually, I think this is a cool way to experiment with, maybe try it with your own image uh, of yourself and see what then uh, Mid Journey comes up with. But I think it's a cool way to maybe sketch out things, having new ideas for your stories, for your projects. And uh, yeah, I really hope you liked this video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments, actually, if you appreciate the content I'm doing, if you like it. Uh, or if you have also questions or feedback for me, what you would like to see on the channel. And if you like the video, then please like the video, subscribe to it, uh, so I can continue doing what I'm doing right now, and uh, which would be pretty amazing. So see you in the next one.